Welcome to Science with Mrs. Crane and Mr. Einstein. What we are going to be doing today is an investigation to see if ice will melt faster in water or in air. We've already written up our investigation. Um, our method isn't here, but our aim that ice will melt faster in water or in air, and we're going to measure if that happens. The hypothesis that ice will melt faster in air, um, and you can also have water instead of that. And the key thing with the hypothesis is that you have a direction of what you might be expecting to see. And then you can see my table for results, which needs to be drawn before you start an experiment, so that while you're doing the experiment, you have somewhere to write your results. As you can see, I'm not just doing one test, but I'm actually going to do the same thing three times. And to make it a bit quicker, I'm going to do three at once. So as you can see, we have six beakers here. And what we need to do is fill them with the same amount of water. with 100 mils of water. and the last one. There we go. 50. And 100 mils. There's our setup for water. And there are even amounts of water, so that each time the test is the same. In another three beakers, we're going to put no water. We're going to leave it as the air test. So the next thing we want to do, I had a few students um, mentioning this, but we want to make sure the temperature is the same. So this thermometer has been sitting around, and it's at air temperature. Air temperature in here today is 29 degrees. Let's just leave this in here for a moment to see what the water temperature is. Other experiment things that we need is stopwatch. Here we go, we have a clock timer. And we have got some big ice cubes that we're going to put in today. If you wanted to, you could even grab a scale to measure the mass of each ice ball. That one's 68 grams. That one's 61. That one's 62. 65. 67, 65, 67. So try and keep them all the same size. They're only a few grams different. So what I might do is take the smaller ones and leave those out of my test today. Okay, let's check the temperature in here. The water temperature is also about 29 degrees. It's been left to sit for a few minutes, so it hasn't changed very much. There we go, you can see it now. Okay, so now to start our investigation. What we're going to do is put the cubes in to each beaker 
This is where you need long arms, Mr. Einstein. I'm going to put them in each and then start the timer. Okay, let's start the timer now. And now we wait. Okay, at the five minute mark, we can see that the ones here in the front in air haven't seemed to melted all that much. But the ones in water are looking quite smaller than before. All right, we'll check back in another five minutes. Okay, so it's at 16 minutes and we can still see that the ones in air has not really melted much. We really do see a distinctive change in our water ones. They're getting much smaller. So already it seems that the hypothesis we made is actually wrong. But that's okay because either way we've learnt what's happening here. We're going to wait a little bit longer again and see when they finish melting. Okay, so it's nearly 40 minutes since we started the experiment and we can see we're almost there. The ones in water are definitely, definitely melting a lot faster. You can already see the size is different. Now we've got a good amount of water actually filling up the, um, the beakers here. Just under 50 ml. Because of water, when they started off, you might remember I put 100 mils in, it's over 150 now. Okay, there we go. Okay, we'll leave it for another 10 20 minutes. Okay, so at 59 minutes, we have success and we have some answers here. We have uh, no ice in the water beakers, and we're getting much smaller pieces of ice in the air beakers. So we'll write that down in our table. So we're writing our results for water and they've all taken 60 minutes. So I've got minutes up here, I should be writing my answers in the bottom here. But I'm going to keep timing because I want to know how much different, okay? So we do know that ice melts faster in water than air now, but we need to know whether um, it's twice as much or one and a half times so we, we're going to keep going luckily our average here is going to be 60 it's all the same and we're done